This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai, physically, and Ife Oluwa Shanke. Yeah. Hi. At least Ife won't be seeing spiritual things anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. so what thing? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I saw. I, you were around, right? Yeah, in mm -hmm. the spirit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay, moving on real quick. Davido receives honorary plaque um, as his album hits one billion streams. Mm. Amazing stuff. That's Big win. Album. Yeah, and we're talking of one album, not his other works, you know. So mm. um, this is actually really good. Yeah, I, I like how we're just bagging a lot of millions as of recent. Like, mm -hmm. it wasn't a two days ago uh, yesterday actually whiskey did the yeah. two billion streams was it yesterday because i was here i was here when we talked about that you weren't uh, was she no, was no you weren't it was, you were really spirit here. yeah <laughs> so it was yesterday oh yeah and the fair was trying to brag yes. and i was telling it's him like, to tone do. down the that's bragging it's not that deep right <laughs> yeah yeah i remember that it's not that deep don't you think it's oh that it's deep, deep. Oh, it's deep, it's ah, deep, deep. Mm. Whiskey. so uh, the thing <laughs> and then we were we were just um differentiating the people that are actually at the international stage and mm. the people who actually need has the Beyonce B stage and have the Beyonce mm -hmm. stage to get the international level. So this is a big win because um it's a good time and then I'm looking forward to a better time which is about to drop in a couple of months I suppose. Mm. He hasn't released a date yet but that's his next studio album mm. and I'm looking forward to that because this is definitely a good time for David O. And like I always keep saying, a lot of people are saying that man, um they haven't seen David doing a while on social media, they miss him and all that. So it's actually working. So I believe that the next time it comes out, it's gonna come out with a bang. Whatever mm. it drops now, everybody wants to jump on it. Yeah. So this is to all creators out there. I think sometimes you just need to take a break and they miss do you a bit. Yeah, mm. get get missed, man. You <laughs> feel me? Like mm. No, Messi finish, no day. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so let's move on to the next story. This is from one good news to another. Popular Instagram sensation known for remaking film productions, Ikorodu Boys, um, received surprise gifts from Netflix to boost their comedy. And that's not all. They are equally being awarded scholarship by Kunlea Falanyo's CAP Film and Television Academy to harness and nurture their talent. Now joining us on this story, of course, is the renowned film director, producer, actor, and founder of CAP Academy, Kunle Afolayo. Hello, Mr. Afolayo. Uh, Hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry. Morning. Good morning. I'm sorry, Good this thing, man, this uh, technology show. thing keeps falling off. <laughs> One of all people shouldn't be complaining about that. Now it's your thing. It's our work. Cool. Okay, how are you guys? <laughs> We're fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, fine, so thank what you. is it about Ikorodu Boys, in your opinion, that is getting this attention and this, um, of course, scholarship from you? Um. Okay, let me put it this way. Uh, for me, um, um, this is so well deserved um, uh, because, I mean, these are not guys who have been in the scene for for a long time. They started by creating, uh, you know, their own style. And when I say their own style, you know, they didn't come out to say, "Look, we're filmmakers." They just came out um, using basic tools which is phone, because I was asking them that, what camera do you guys actually use to shoot? And they said they use phone. Now, uh, and they've used this to recreate um, uh, people's works. Uh, but the style and the artistic way, you know, of doing it is what has gotten them this far, not um, the fact that they have access to equipment, not the fact that they have access to, uh, you know, uh, the luxury that a lot of people have, you know, when it comes to filmmaking. Um, and I remember some time ago, I reached out to them and I said to them, look, continue to do what you do, because I believe that the whole world is watching. Uh, so when this call came, um, I mean, I was just here in my office and uh, I got an email from uh, Netflix saying, hey, look, um, we like what the Korodu boys are doing, and I would like to present them a gift. 
and we're wondering if this is something you can help handle. Now, by handling it, what they meant was, what do you think they need? What do you think uh, will help them? What can we give them? You know, and I said to them that, look, at that stage, uh, what they, they actually need are two major things. Capacity building is one, which is training so that they can better their knowledge and on understanding of the craft. And then the next thing is they need um, tools, equipment, you know, to work with. And they said, okay, that's fine, that they will take care of, um, uh, they will take care of, uh, you know, the equipment side. And they said to send them a list. So in-house, we help draw a list of uh, some of these equipment. If they want to do a feature film, they can't do with this equipment. Okay. So we draw up a list and we send to Netflix and Netflix arrange for those things to be bought okay. uh, for them. Either ways, I think it came in at the right time because on social media there has been a lot of, will I say, complaints about things like this where people claim to be helping the grassroots and we ended up finding out that it's audio and all that type of stuff. But still speaking on social media, this, this, um, this will I say, scholarship has been well received and through that started the conversation of of them, and I guess I want your thoughts on this if you agree or disagree, where people are saying that the Ikurudu boys could possibly have their creativity, will I say dampened, if they get too, will I say in the line, if they get too mainstream, if that makes sense, if there's a lot of attention, maybe there's a lot more pressure and things like that. I don't know, from your perspective, do you think that this type of attention, because we're hoping it's not going to end just here and that obviously they get better. Do you think this type of attention, and will I say comfort almost, could make or mar the creative process for the Kurdu boys? It could. And these, I mean, of course, we didn't put this out, but I really sat them down. And, um, you know, because a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, I read on the internet where someone complained that they reached out to them for interview and uh, they said they, they had to be paid to grant the interview. So when they came, that was one of the first thing I asked them, their leader, and I said, I read this, that is it true? And the guy said, it's not true, that, you know, that there was nothing like that. For me, look, and this I was also discussing with someone this morning, it's something for you to recreate someone's work, maintaining that person's original sound. Because film, one picture is one, sound is another if you watch all these kids that they do they recreate the picture the video but they don't touch the audio hmm. of the original work so for them to be able to do their own content merging original sound with the picture it is something they have to learn mm -hmm. so um they, they are, i i mean I think they have God on their side. And look, I can't take it away from the fact that they are originally blessed, which is where the creativity comes from. But when you now have the attention, I mean, and I said it to him, I said, look, you guys don't be distracted by this attention. Mm. Um, and I, I even cited examples and I said, you know this person, you know this person, you know this person two years ago. If they walk on the street of Lagos, everybody will be shouting. But if they see them now, they'll probably just say, hey, how are you? Or they won't even greet them at all. Mm. As I said, so sustainability, I mean, you guys need to continue to be creative. That energy, you know, and that zeal and anxiety that you had when you started Amazing. it. That is what should keep moving you and motivating you. Amazing. When people get into too much comfort, you know, a lot of times the artistic um, uh, zeal and energy drops, drops yeah. you know, and when there's too much, uh, you know, um, um, uh, uh, equipment and all of that to play with, it also acts, affects their original creativity. Thank you so, so I much, Mr. Fulaya, for that. I pray that. Mm. Uh, this is not going to be their own case. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, thank Mr. Fulano, for that. So, uh, but one thing that caught my attention the most is that we've seen a lot of privileged people that actually have this equipment but do nothing with it. So what caught my attention the most was the fact that you 
gave them a scholarship that is you're teaching them the nitty-gritty you're not just giving them fish now you're teaching them how to catch the fish as well because that is very important because they can have all this equipment and not know how to actually put it into good use so what are the plans apart from the scholarship how long would they be in there after they leave the cap academy would they be able to start creating movies using this equipment and then maybe going further and then taking them under your wings you know starting movies and stuff like that do we have such plans in place for these boys yeah i mean from from our own, own end what i what we promised them was what well, scholarship is one which is to attend the school then mentorship is another thing mm. and this i told them that i would do in my own capacity um the reason everybody's talking about them right now is not because um they are privileged and they've had uh, uh they had backing of uh you know people or parents or anybody this is something they started on their own and i don't think anybody should uh come out to then start taking the credit no for me i just think from the point where they are now um they need a lot of guidance so that they don't derail mm -hmm. you know they need uh, uh to learn um um you know like how to improve mm -hmm. on the craft and like i mentioned earlier it is so important uh that they learn the two sides to this thing all the materials they've done uh, they copied other people's work and they retained other people's they i mean the sound and all of that mm. uh ordinarily if we're in the world where people don't value more publicity they could have been sued mm. for Copyright recreating or using other people's materials but it's because those things came out positive mm. all right and um the the platforms like netflix think that i mean you know they, 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 there has been a lot of attention uh uh to their works and uh, you know what they stand for you know in africa and i think that is why they decided to embrace this because it doesn't put them in any bad light mm. so okay. these are some of the things that we are going to take upon us if they are open to it where you can't force anything okay. we've um it's one thing for you to offer people scholarship is another thing for them to, be ready to, to learn. you know to think is worth it and to take it all right thank you so much mr fulano for sharing more details concerning mm. this um, arrangement we hope to have you again soon to discuss more things in the entertainment industry every time all right thank you. tea time continues right after this short break Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> The Lagos State Film and Video Censors Board has issued a 30-day notice to content producers in Nigeria to duly register their content with the body, demanding 5% tax on all audio and visual content from content producers. Um, the Board Executive Secretary, Mr. Bamidele Balogun, says practitioners involved in production, sale, distribution of audio and visual products are advised to register through the Board's authorized agent within 30 days. Quote, practitioners and stakeholders Holders are also informed that henceforth all audio and visual content produced and sold within Lagos State shall attract the payments of 5% levy on each of them. End of quote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, 
It's okay. It's to send my 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 content abroad for them to help me upload it and also it in Nigeria. Yeah, I mean that that is one of the questions. I mean, I think this um, what would I call it now? Instruction or mm. order or demand is a bit too vague for you to even understand who exactly will be involved what kind of content are you talking about instagram content are you talking about music videos mm. are you talking about movies is because if you use the word content and they will just run along because it's um, lagos film and video sensors board and just decide it's just for film and video what mm. says that it can be used against somebody else because what we are seeing is just content yeah so there's I think a yoruba that saying that says abula abula mm -hmm. that is you're saying this would help improve the industry right we see all the countries where the government is willing to just support the creative industry without asking for anything maybe of course in tax returns we get all of that but saying a five percent levy is like okay pay us so that we can help you mm. that's the way it looks to me why don't you just leave the five percent to ourselves so that we can help ourselves? I prefer that. Um, I I don't like how it's vague. I think it being vague already shows that this is kind of like being ostracized to be used as a tool to confuse people. I feel mm -hmm. like if you were being honest and 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 your intentions were good, you'd be very clear as to who you were talking mm -hmm. to and who you were um who you're directing this policy regulation to. Uh, it's it's we've seen this happen before even with the bikes that they wanted to start that was going to affect um, the dispatch riders and we mm. came together on social media if I call us audio whatever as audio activists there's still a voice and space for that and the government has retracted on that and said that they will look look into it based on our feedback so I'm hoping that the same thing is going to happen with this particular case where people can start to ask for more um, clarity they need to start giving more clarity on what that means and then see if it actually makes sense for Lagos as a state because I don't think it's it, I don't think it's every single thing that you need to levy on um, and with contents the way it is done like Elsie mentioned mm -hmm. like it's so it's complicated so to ambiguous, actually. yeah like so you, just, you can't place it anywhere yeah uh, obviously I, I don't mind I don't mind that there should be more structure in regards to like heavy production that like, things that are airing on national television and things like that I understand to an extent that it needs to be structured into that if there's profit or if there's a way that you you need to put it together to make it even a more bigger thing sure no problem but make it more specific as to what mm. you mean by that mm. Okay, um, moving on to the next story. Regina Daniel's mom gets um, Rita gets PDP appointment. Hmm. Um, so I don't know why this is uh, making big in the news because I feel like this is just party politics. Like if you're part of a party and then you're active, then you probably um, get some roles or things to do in the party, which is what I think is going on. But if it's a big deal to them, then congratulations. Congratulations to her because um, we've always said um, most creative and people that have a solid platform should get involved in politics. So she's going to use this platform to speak to the youth and um, carry along a daughter, um, Regina Daniels. And, you know, Ned Nwoko is um, a businessman and part-time politician as well. So we know that it dabbles into politics every now and then. It uh, got fatherism. Okay, don't wow. quote me on that. But I'm just saying that, you know, things like that also happen. So um, whatever it is, I just like the fact that we have somebody who is in the entertainment space that is also getting involved in politics. Honestly, Join your I parties feel... and let's see what positive impact you can actually make. I concur. <laughs> I can call. I mean, let's see what, what that means. It, mm -hmm. It's For now, it's just like when rich people do something and then we must talk about it. Once I start to see like some proper mm -hmm. results, I really, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure how to like feel about it, you know? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I guess this is how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please do join the conversation by sending your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also watch this episode all over again of course, all our exclusive content on YouTube at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshoke and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. To stay safe.